hello. It is about 10 at night and so far today I have been on two buses and a train and in about seven hours I will get on a plane and then I will have about half an hour to run and get on a second plane and I don't know if I'm gonna make it. <laughs> original plan was to get to the airport tonight and then just spend six hours not sleeping on a bench. And then my mom said, Laura, you could just get a hotel. And I was like, yeah, I think I'm too old to spend six hours not sleeping on a bench. When I booked it, they were like, do you want two single beds or a double bed? And I was like, I'm one person. I want a double bed. I'm going to take up the whole thing. What do I want with two single beds? And there's this bathroom that is like very open scheme. This is the shower. It doesn't have a door. Like wouldn't water just get everywhere? And also they have the towels here, but I know I would turn on that shower and forget that the towels were there and then I would just have wet towels. I'm still in Glasgow, but yeah, no, I'm not gonna make that flight. It's fine, I booked the next flight. I'll pay for it in the sense that I will literally pay and I'll lose six hours, but I'm gonna be there for a week. It's fine. So I'm done being mad. Mostly at myself. I hate feeling stupid. Get ready for some airport adventures in London. I'm gonna put this away now. People are staring at me. I didn't even move. I'm standing right by the main walkway. <laughs> Made it to London. It seems a waste. I have six hours and I can't go explore London because Stansted is so far out. I'm not missing this next flight. I feel much more relaxed now that it's like, no, I have so much time. It's fine. And so I was wandering through all the like the duty free buy stuff and there's all the makeup ladies and I was like, do my makeup. Here's the thing. Despite the fact that most days of the year I cannot be bothered to put on makeup, I love makeup. Sucker for, and anytime there's a demo thing, I just want people to touch my face. So yes, do you like it? It's beautiful and I own it now. I have a very red undertone to my skin and there's very few foundations that don't make me look yellow. So when I find one, I buy it. You don't care. Okay, but what happened with the flight? My flight from Glasgow would have landed at 8.15 and then my flight to Pisa would have left at 8.45. And so Stansted is not nearly as big an airport as Gatwick or Heathrow. And I was like, if I book it, I can just run to the next one. And I forgot a few key things. Hey, in my mind, I would get out at the one gate and just run to the next one, forgetting that because I was flying within the UK, it would spit me. I literally had to go outside and then go back into the terminal and then go through security all over again, except I didn't. I had to go in one line and get my visa checked and then go through security and half an hour was not enough time to do all that. So I was already like, oh no, this is gonna be terrible. And then I forgot the gate closes earlier than the plane leaves. So the gate closed at the same time that my plane was supposed to land. And then my plane was late. So anyway, it's fine. I just get fancy new makeup and I get to hang out at the airport. So far, I quite like this fancy airport. I get four hours of free Wi-Fi instead of just one. Glasgow. And they seem to have developed quite an effective method for making sure everyone gets a chance at the charging point because they're only on those flat red things behind me. You really gotta want to charge something in order to spend any length of time sitting there. It is hard and uncomfortable. Otherwise, you can get these vaguely cushy airport seats. I sat there for two hours. My back hurts. I was doing the walk and talk thing while I was on my way to the toilet because what else am I gonna do on the way to the toilet? And then I realized that I was about to walk into the toilet, a public toilet filled with people and children with a camera on. I was like, mm -mm. no, no. <laughs> I turned it off and put it away and I didn't get arrested. I also just want to go shopping. I want to buy clothes and sunglasses. And... Boredom is bad. I spent another hour watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine and I ate another granola bar and I've managed to not buy anything else that I don't need. One more hour and then they'll tell me what gate I need to go to. <laughs> I'm gonna go to Burger King. All right, Burger King. That was an absurdly tiny amount of food for the amount of money that I just paid. It's fine because now I have a tiny cup full of ice that I can eat. And because it was self-serve, I can go back for more. I lead a full life. So pissed on Facebook asking you guys for suggestions of what I should do in this video while I was stuck at the airport. And Jen is the only one who responded. So I tried really hard to do what she asked. I don't think any of the attempts were adequate. Jen wanted an escalator, a down one, but I think it's the good you're gonna get. I can feel the slow motion. Can't feel the slow motion. Wait, slow motion. Just for you. Ready, I'll get one. I should have another stuff. 